Hi guys, welcome to my channel Music and Tech again. This is Kevin. So today we're going to talk about um, using your addictive drums too. So I'll, I will try to teach you how to use this plugin in Ableton in order to use your addictive drums too. Hold on, I just need to delete, to delete this. I need a MIDI track. If you are going to look for the plugin if you're going to look for the plugin, then you just click plugins, then you would see your addictive drums too here. So we will just need to drag addictive drums too onto your MIDI track. So once you do that, automatically the window, the plugin window will open again for if you would see the last video that I created it's about the installing of your addictive drums to plug in into your MacBook and then uh, putting it into Ableton as I mentioned in that video I purchased the addictive drums 2 basic kit so it would contain the Fairfax volume 1 2 and black velvet again there are other uh, packs that you can purchase, so you would see it here as well. But you need to pay for each pack. So you just look into that video and I will have a more description on how to install your Addictive Drums 2 into your MacBook. And then, um, hold on, I just need to, um, sorry, I just need to close this. I have to put this in in and not auto so that I could use my um, addictive drums too using my keyboards so this is the kick so if you would hear that the sound is quite realistic so how is that possible for addictive drums as far as I know they have created this drum this drum sounds in a real studio and then they created a plugin for this so so again Fairfax volume 1 it, you have a description here below so it's more like a vintage drum kit which is suitable for American modern rock sound and then it's the same for Fairfax volume 1 it's from the same studio but it's a bit warm punchy 1960s crest kit and then great sounding recording room and then you have a the black velvet kit which is more of massive drums so more for those grunge or arena rock so again uh, usually usually i use the fairfax volume one and then if you would go on to this side you have a map window you would see uh, where are the drum kits located in your keyboard so you would see kick is at C1 so if I press C1 on my Roland digital piano then you will hear that then that would be the snare open hit yeah so you would see it here okay so this one is useful if you're going to create your drum drum track manually so this one is uh, yeah you can locate where are your drum kits okay so you can see that for the kick yeah you can increase the volume or lower the volume accordingly yeah let me put it back to the original setting zero yeah yeah and then so that's for the the map window and then if you would go to your kit yeah, you have only one kind of uh, kick. 
So for if you're going to purchase more of those um, addictive drums kits, then you will have more options for the kick drum. Then you here you you will see the kits that is available for um, your Tom three, Tom four, Tom two, Tom one. What else? Mm. There's your snare. There's only one. Then cymbals. You have one, two, three. So again, you can increase or decrease that. Mm. then um, if you want to use or um, your effects so for example for each of this kit there's already an equalizer effect or some kind of effects applied to it so for the kick yeah so you can see that there's some equalizer effects already applied you can disable those or you can make adjustments and those also yeah you can this is the volume how much volume is going into the master volume of your addictive drums there are also effects here you can switch them off then you will hear the difference yeah then if I increase this then if you hit your or press on your digital piano keys softly the sound adjusts accordingly so if i hit or press harder then it will sound louder then you can even increase your output yeah there's so many things here that you can do you can look at your kits also for s your snare drums, hi hats, toms, tom two, tom three, tom four, flexi. Yeah, yeah, so many things here you can do. So this is your clap. So if you want to reduce that volume. wanted to create a drum track you go to session view and then from here you have to switch back to auto and then you have to set your tempo for example at 120 is your master tempo hold on I'm going to remove auto automation and then you have to record so you if I click this record button you will not hear me first So if you do that, then you have a track here. So again, using your Mac win uh, map window, you can put, for example, or draw in your track. What are where will you place your kick drum? For example, I would go to draw mode. I would just put here. So this one will be my kick, then you will hear. Or you can adjust accordingly. Yeah, so it's up to you how you want to 
Um, place your kits here. Then, if for example, I'm going to put some snare. And it would sound like this. Yeah. So again, it's up to you how you will put the different kits. Then if you want to reduce the intensity of the sound of those, you have to reduce this the height of this uh, like circle on top. You try to reduce this. Then it would sound then you can just copy the whole thing yeah so that's how it works the so the advantage of like lowering the intensity of some of the hits is that to make it more human sound like someone is playing a, a real person is playing because if the intensity is the same all throughout it doesn't sound as someone is uh, playing the instrument so that's why the application of this like reducing from here and there is to make it sound like a, some, a human is playing the instrument and not a machine yeah so that's how you do this thing so another way which I usually use I don't do this thing because it doesn't sound realistic is that I would go here and then open up your addictive drums and then you would see here on this side you have the beats hmm? so if you you go here you would find different kind of beats that may be possible for what you're looking for so for example I would like to use the rock genre and then I would just select from here then select for example this one American beat let me hear what it sounds like <laughs> So now this one is playing at 101 tempo. So if you want this, the tempo of this um, to be in sync with the tempo that you have placed in the Ableton Master Tempo, then you just have to click Sync Tempo. Then it would adjust. <laughs> So this one sounds more realistic so for example I would you can just drag this thing onto your MIDI track there yes then you can play Then you can even drag this thing to make it longer so you don't need to copy and paste. So if you would look into the um, the initial demonstration that I video that I prepared and you can find that video in the link in the description below, you can add some more stuff like if you want to have some build up. So let me go back here to all let's search for build up so if you want to quickly search for a particular s type of beat then you just have to search it here and then let's hear how this sounds like so if you would like that then you can just drag it here then you have your build up so if it sound like yeah and then of course if 
you would go back, then you want to have a different type of beat for your chorus or your um, bridge or whatever, then you can just drag this thing. Then that's here again. So that's how you use um, your beats and then you would see that there's really a lot like really a lot of things that you can use here different types of beats for different types of genre here yeah so it's up to you there's blues there's dance there's funk hip-hop indie jazz latin latin metal and so many other things yeah so another thing that you can do is that for example yeah you see this thing this is your drum track yeah this is your drum track you can zoom in then you can make adjustments on this thing so for example you delete this so it sounds <laughs> so again you can also reduce the intensity of the some of the kits that are being played so there's so many things that you can do but the good thing about using ad addictive drums too is that the sound of your drum tracks would sound as realistic as possible. Of course, nothing beats the real thing, but if, for example, if you want to hear mu your music when you're composing something, then you would have a feel of how your music would sound like. Yeah, so I think that's it for me for how to uh, show how to use your addictive drums too yeah it's quite uh, easy to use quite intuitive and um, yeah you have, if you have questions you can just let me know and then if you find this video uh, useful you can click the link like button and then if you would like to see other videos and then you could uh, click subscribe and again thank you so much for watching this video Bye.